loving this foundation routine those are my favorites hey guys um welcome back to my channel it's me it's your girl candy and today we are going to be using some brand new products i kind of wanted to show you my favorites a little combination of both since it's the beginning of the month of september if you're my candy babes welcome back you guys i appreciate your love and support coming back and if you are new welcome i hope you really enjoy this video I hope some of the products that you see other maybe you used them before or maybe you have some questions about it i just just want to say that when I'm using these products and how I'm using them this is how I like to do it um, this is on my version and intake on the products some of them are actually the majority of these of uh, the new stuff is really fresh impressions but I'm not here to if you would like to see how I created this very bold and colorful look and this nice seamless foundation then go ahead and stay tuned and let's just go ahead and start this damn thing <laughs> purchased some of these some of these I did not purchase myself um, my boo-boo really did surprise me last week he kind of he kind of got in a little bit of trouble so his way of saying baby I'm sorry and my way of saying okay I forgive <laughs> that he surprised me actually um, was Sephora gifts I'm kidding I mean we were kind of bickering towards each other and he does know that I love makeup so he spoils me in that aspect but I don't want to make it seem like he just he he's I don't know it came off pretty probably wrong so the beginning of this video I kind of want to show you my favorites and then we'll jump into the actual makeup tutorial and then we'll do the whole spiel and then you shout oh god oh god yeah yeah <laughs> I guess let's first start with the skincare I'm really loving the Mario Bashu Bashu Badesh I'm loving this rose toner um it's been in my regimen every day since the beginning of the summer and let me look how much i've actually used out of it so you really do get your money's worth with it and i'm just really 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 enjoying it so far um, as far as uh, moisturizer i have been using the uh, philosophy one the renewed one that i have been using for a while um, but i also has been using the claudel uh sherbert moisturizer this you did see me receive on my july ipsy bag i believe it's at the july or June but I've been really enjoying this um, moisture is very light it doesn't have like a really intense fragrance smell to it so I really like that um, another thing that I have been really liking is again this is philosophy this is actually their eye cream I actually thought I was out and squeeze the sucker out of these things it really does work I really love how it does hold up the product is not too thick it's not too light it actually like stays on the skin for a while so I really do like this eye cream the palette that we're using today for my eyes and only one palette is going to be from Juvia's Palace this is their Zulu palette and I really love the boldness of it as you can tell or if you haven't noticed um, I did get this at Ulta I believe it was 20 bucks they're really very pigmented as you can see today my only only downside to this palette is that it stains my eyes but yeah i do really love this palette it's really great pigmentation is fantastic i really have no other complaints other than that the nyx conceal contour correct palette um i don't need to go into details with this you guys see me use this you see me talk about it in numerous different videos so if you haven't go ahead and check out the reasons why in my other previous videos other thing that I, as far as brushes go that are my favorites um for sure what i've been using every day another one of my favorite eye products is the benefits cosmetics this is their bad girl bang mascara I'm wearing it today and it is definitely one of my favorites I do want to just say a quick little thing um I just received a mascara in the mail from Sah uh, Sahai uh, cosmetics they actually were in my June ipsy bag and they just sent me a mascara just for my own thoughts I did use it in today's video um, this is my first time actually wearing it so you guys be the judgment on the length of it so far I don't mind it I just want to let you guys know that they did send it to me I am not getting paid for anything they just kind of want to showcase they want me to basically try out their mascara since I tried out their eyeshadow so just want to let you guys know so when it goes towards um, the face products that I like as for the makeup um, I really do like the Milani make a last setting um, spray I this is actually my second bottle I purchased this I think at the beginning of the year as well 
and it's it's been perfect i haven't had to use like a thick moisturizer or anything like that or anything thick to like reapply my foundation um i didn't use it today but you do see that this is actually one of my favorites really do like this spray my other favorites for my face is the maybelline fit me i've been using the shade dark love it use it literally by itself i've been using it on the days i'm not really filming or doing anything just a light foundation and then sealing this all over the entire face it's amazing it's super light i like it it does have a little little bit redder for me just a smidge but it's actually not too bad it actually does come off really well on my um my skin tone here as you can tell because it is used today now one of my big favorites is which i'm so happy that i was able to find it so thank you ulta thank you for finally getting me the correct shade because i feel like you guys were failing me this is like my fifth time trying to find it if you guys want a full review on this foundation please go ahead and check it out i'll make sure to link it up right here for you but the foundation i'm talking about is the lancome the Lancome, this is the Tint Adult Ultra Wear, and I'm wearing the shade 540. And last but certainly not least when it comes to the face products, um, this is the Milani. Again, I've talked about this in other videos, but this is just one of my favorite highlighters. You can't go wrong with it. It's super subtle, as you can see today. I mean, it, it, my eyes are pretty damn dramatic, and I really wanted it to keep the rest of it pretty simple and so the last thing I want to show you guys is the uh, 3d HD beauty blender from Sigma this is my jizam I use this every single time I'm doing my makeup whether it's doing a lip look for Instagram or if I'm doing a whole full face um, each side is dedicated to a certain portion of your whole makeup routine and that is really why I really love it as you can see it's pretty garbage but though yeah those are my favorites so uh yeah let's just go ahead and jump now to the makeup tutorial hey 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 guys as you know my face is completely bare and I'm looking like a hot goddamn mess so we need to first refresh my face we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use the Mario Badescu rose toner spray and we're gonna go ahead and balance my skin back to the normal pH level. So we're gonna go ahead and spray that all over. Now that the toner has absorbed into the skin, we're gonna go ahead and place the Frasali Rose Gold Oil and we're gonna place it all over my face except for my T-zone. And that's just because I have combination skin on the outer rims of my face is a little bit more drier, whereas the middle portion is more oily. So I'm going to not place any oil in the middle portion. And now we're gonna move on to the eye cream. This is the Philosophy Eye Cream and I'm just gonna go ahead and place it under and rub it in and now to give my face some moisture this is the Cladol sherbet moisturizer and we're just gonna place that all over the face So now we're going to move on to primer. Normally I would go to the Milani, but because we're trying out new things, we're going to go on to the Too Faced Setting Spray and this is their Coconut Setting Spray, 321. I'm going to go ahead and spray that all over. Let that absorb. And then we're going to take my favorite beauty blender. This is from Sigma. This is their 3D HD blending sponge. And I like using this because the sponge actually does penetrate the primer into the skin a little bit more deeper. And I love using this sponge because it really does help with the different angles of my face. And using the sponge to penetrate the spray into the skin deeper, it just kind of hitting the dermis of the skin a lot better rather than just letting it air dry. Now to make sure everything's pretty much set, we're going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and we're going to be using the shade Dark. We're then going to take again that Beauty Blender and just press it all over the face. And by doing this, this controls the oil. This has kind of been my secret for over a year now on an oil control. So if you have oily skin, this is a great technique to help conceal that oil. 
Now we're going to move on to the brows and we're going to be using my favorite. This is the Benefits Precisely My Brow Pencil. I actually forget to mention it in the end but this is definitely one of my favorites. It is affordable and it just looks really great on um, my photos. I just really love this product. And now that the brows are done, we're going to move on to the eyes, baby. We are going to be using this palette. This is from Juvia's Place. This is their Zulu. Zulu. This is their Zulu. And normally I would use my NYX, but again, we're trying a newbie today. So we're using this primer. This is from Too Faced and this is their 24 hour. We're gonna go ahead and use that. Now, when I applied this, I thought it would look great, but I added concealer because I'm just afraid that the color won't really pay out like it usually is. So I did put concealer on top of that and I blended that out with my finger just so that I can get like a more even base rather than using a sponge. And honestly, I just picked up the first color I saw which was pink so that is what we're working with. We're going to place that directly on the crease and pretty much build this bold ass crease color and then blending that um, outward. Then I saw this orange and I decided to put this on the outer corner. Honestly, I don't know why because we're going to cover this up anyway. So you can kind of really ignore this step. Because um, you see here, I put on the purple shade that's in the palette. And I'm using that as an outer corner to really create more depth. But in reality, that's really going to create more of a crease line for me in the end. To blend everything out again I use that orange just to blend out the creases to not have such harsh lines and then as you see here we're gonna go in with the concealer and just cut me all a nice um, cut crease but we're gonna be doing a halo eye today when you create a halo eye you want to do a cut crease like normal but instead of placing the color all over the lid or in some kind of direction you're pretty much gonna leave the middle portion of the lid open for whatever shimmer or other color you're going to be using so for today's look we're going to be using the purple on the outer corners and then we're going to be using both the green and blue shimmers off of the palette creating this more dimensional color where you see it being green and blue all together so now that the eyes are kind of sign and done, um, we're now going to move on to putting on some eyeliner. But I just kind of want to let you see that uh, little man is in the background. So if you see many things missing or moving, it's because he's... But we're going to be using this eyeliner. This is from NYX. This is their Vivid Liners. This is one of the newbies. We're just going to go ahead and create a more bright liner. Instead of doing a full line and then creating a wing, I decided to go halfway and just kind of have that green pop out or start at the middle of the halo um, just to create a little bit more dimension and also just to be a little bit more creative. Um, that's why we're using the bright green to kind of just bring that out. And we're just going to create a wing. Don't worry about the mess because we'll clean that up with a wipe. And as you can see here, I'm just going to go ahead and clean that up, creating my wing as I swoop up with the wipe. Now that the eyes are about 80% down, we're going to move on to the face. And we're going to be using the Lime Cone Foundation here. And this is in the shade 540W. Again, I'm using the Beauty Blender and I'm using the bottom portion to evenly disperse the foundation all over the face. Now we're using my other favorite. This is Fenty Beauty. This is their contour stick in the shade Espresso. Carving up my contour areas. And now we're going to hop on to the newbie. This is from Too Faced. This is their Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. And I got the shade in Maple. Maple is a little bright, I think. I think I might need to go a little darker. But uh, in the end, you'll see how I blended everything out when it works actually really good. And placing maple on my highlighting portions, I'm then just going to go ahead and use that same beauty blender. And again, I'm using certain angles of the beauty blender to blend out 
the highlight and also with the contour shades. And as you can see, after blending it out, maple isn't actually that bad. So because I have neutral skin, you guys know this, I'm going to go ahead and mix these two. These are my fave. You guys already know this is Cover FX and this is Sasha with the Buttercup. So first up, we're going to go ahead and mix the two powders and we're going to set all the highlighting portions and I'm using a flat brush for that. And then for bronzer, we're going to be using the Anastasia bronzer in the shade Mahogany. To give out the contour, I'm going to be using a contour brush um, and as you can, I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over the face. And then using my Morphe brush, more fluffy brush, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Maybelline all over the remaining portions of the face. Now that the face is pretty much done too, we're going to go ahead and set that, make sure everything is in holding and in good condition. And we're going to go back in with that beauty blender and pat that in again. Just pretty much want to suck everything in, especially if you have oily skin. We're going to now go ahead and highlight. We're going to go ahead and use my fave. This is Milani, their glowing strobe highlight. Applying it over to my highest cheekbones. Now we're going to go back into the eyes. We're using this eyeliner. This is from NYX Cosmetics in the shade Lime Green. We're going to go ahead and place it on the outer and the inner portions. And then I apologize. I thought you saw me do this. But I pretty much recreated the same colors on the bottom. So we started off with pink. And then we smoked everything out with purple. And then we're using my MAC 224 brush to blend everything out. My favorites when it comes to mascara right now is definitely the Benefits Bad Girl Bang Mascara. But for today, for as a newbie, we're going to be using this mascara. It is from Sahai Cosmetics. And we're going to go ahead and use this Volumize Mascara. Once the mascara is on, we're now going to pop on some lashes. This is from Goddess Collection and this is Rena. And Rena is giving me life right now, giving this look life. And yeah, that's going to be the end of the tutorial, guys. Let's go ahead and finalize on the remaining of these newbies. Alright guys, well this is the end of the video. I hope you liked the tutorial so far. So let's just go ahead and jump on into the new products. So as I was stating in the beginning of the video, Boo Boo surprised me with some few products. And here are a few of the products that he did surprise me with. He had asked me prior to, what do I need, want? And I told him I really just needed some concealer, a couple different lipsticks, and that was it. So because of the new concealers, I really did want to try the Born This Way multi use Sculpting Concealer. I am using the shade Maple. I was actually a little worried. I thought I at first got the wrong shade because it's a little yellow. But when I put it on, as you can tell, it actually was really nice. I really do like the applicator. The product itself is really thick, and so is the applicator itself. I really didn't need to double dip. I really didn't need to do anything, honestly, so far, you guys. And, and after I let it dry for a little bit, it didn't cake up. It is a bit pricey. I honestly don't really know what price it was, but to me, anything above $10 is a little bit So far, really liking it you do get 15 millimeters so it's half a foundation bottle these are both from Too Faced and he's he gave me the 24 hour insurance eyeshadow primer and the hangover 3 for 1 setting spray I haven't used primer on how long and it was so weird for me to put this on today I after I put it on I was like this is not gonna hold up any color not the way that I wanted to so then that's why I put the concealer on top of it but then I realized that was probably a bad idea so don't copy me when I did that like I think it's gonna be either one or the other either you do the primer or you do the concealer and in this case I wish I just did the concealer but I wanted to try out the primer spray I actually did like it does not have like a strong coconut smell but so far it's I use it for both before and after and it's actually really nice so not too shabby on those and then the other things that he purchased for me are actually a lot of lippies 
And this is the reason why I haven't wear or haven't put on any lipstick because I kind of just want to do a little bit of a lipstick swatch with you guys. Um, I don't know, I can't find it, but I'll find it before we start. There's another lipstick I use it on my dark lips, and that is from Anastasia. That is in the shade Nocturnal, which is a very gorgeous blue shade. Which so for the first one, I actually haven't had the chance to get this. And again, I'm still trying to install this red lips into me since I said it last year. I'm just gonna keep adding on to the red lip collection because I feel like if I have a lot of options, I can't be too mad. And with this one, it has gotten so many reviews and so many people love it. And it's on gorgeous shades. It looks stunning on all kinds of colors of the rainbow. And so I'm excited that I finally have it myself. I am, of course, talking about the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lamp. I mean, really, it could be work today, but. Another Too Faced product. This is their Melted Latex. And this is in the shade Hot Mix. The last ones that he purchased for me. This is the NARS lipsticks. And this is brand new. I think these recently came out like a month ago. And he got the Hot Reds for me. This is their Wanted Power Pack Lip Kit. And if you are wondering, I do know on Sephora that this was actually cheaper than this. So you get two for one when it comes to these red lippies. So if you're just thinking about that, um, there's your options pack. So here is the two lippies here. I'm really excited. One's like a more darker red and the other one is like a bright ass red. So that so I just want to go into what the items that I purchased that are brand new. So I am a Babbitt fan of NYX if you guys haven't noticed. With the holiday season coming up, more speaking towards Halloween. I'm actually coming in out with three different looks and these looks I know they're gonna take a minute for me to do. Um, this is the reason why I purchased so many items is because I need to do some line work. So with that being said, I purchased a crap ton of liners from NYX. The reason why I chose NYX is because they have so many color options for one. And number two, their price ranges are really, 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 really great. And they were actually on sale on Ulta. I think it was their like their Ulta Beauty sale. And normally they're like seven bucks and I think I got them all for three bucks. So I got pretty much every single color off of their Vivid Bright Soul collection. I also then reamped on my white and my black shades. So these are all the liquid liners that I purchased. And then also I got the two uh, pots of Vivid Brights I got here. Get Money and this is Blueprint. And as far as uh, bronzer goes, um, you guys know I've tried the Ofra bronzer. That shit was like literally my skin tone so it didn't work. I have been researching to find what is the best contour powder out there for a woman of color. And nine times out of 10, everybody is raving about this powder, which is from Anastasia. This is their bronzer in the shade Mahogany. I was really skeptical myself, but you know what? This is actually a really soft, subtle bronzer. It's not really too intense. I know the color looks like it would fit me, like it wouldn't fit me, but it actually does fit me really well. So I can't be too mad about that. <laughs> Another pair of red lipsticks. This is actually a matte lipstick from NYX. This is in their suede collection. I got both the red pencil and the lippy that goes together. Uh, so this should be really great. I'm hoping it works really well. And then I was really shocked to see the glitter lip from NYX as well. So this is probably going to be a nice like shimmery, glittery, glossy lip, which I'm really excited. And it's white version, it's not like a tan color. So that's kind of the reason why I chose that. And yeah guys, that is the end of the whole collection here. So yeah guys, I um, really love my favorites. There's things that I've utilized a lot throughout my routines. And as far as the new products, Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your love and support. You guys, seriously, I really, really do. And yeah, I'm going to shut up now. I'll see you at the next one. Bye, guys. Peace.